it should be one of the purest of sports, with only natural ability and sheer dedication making the difference between hundreds of seconds. But advances in swimsuit technology have led to claims that winning is now more about the suit than the swimmer. The World Swimming Championships in Rome this weekend will see some teams wearing a swimsuit so advanced it's been likened to performance enhancing drugs with calls for it to be banned. The British team, which is sponsored by Speedo, isn't wearing it. I wouldn't necessarily wear a different suit to stand to my principles and just from that I've, I've already decided I'm not kind of one of those swimmers that's trying different suits out and having to find out what's best for them. I've just stuck with one and put the, the rest of the issue behind and at the end of the day it's just kind of, a suit's not going to swim its own way, you've kind of, you've got to put a good swimmer in it. But how much of a difference can a swimsuit really make? Here's former world champion Mark Foster in a pair of traditional shorts. Swimming 25 metres, his time just over 10 seconds. And here he is in the controversial new suit. It's covered in a material which aids buoyancy and helps compress the swimmer's muscles. His time over the same distance, a whole second faster. It's hardly a scientific experiment, but it's enough to convince him, at least, that wearing the suit does give an unfair advantage. I suppose you could say it's the modern day equivalent of taking drugs, the suits, but then the suits are legal. Do you imagine the, the, the hull of a ship being really smooth and they, they wax them, etc. That is what it's like swimming in that suit. It feels, it almost feels like you're swimming downhill. If you don't put it on, you're not going to stand a chance of competing. The suits in question could yet be banned after the World Championships, but any records broken will still stand. Bad news for Rebecca Adlington and Joe Jackson, whose main rival this weekend will be wearing one. The swimmers here are only too aware of the controversy, but they can't allow it to affect performance. That's a row to be had between the organising bodies and the swimsuit manufacturers. For these guys, the only thing that matters is who touches the wall first. Orla Shinawi, Sky News at the British Swimming Camp in Sardinia.